Hi, I'm Heather from Handbook Tubes, and today is exceptions to tropes I hate. So these are tropes that generally speaking, I will just not pick up the book if I am marketed it as this trope because I don't care about that trope at all and generally don't like it or don't like the typical conflict that it sets up or what have you. But I have some exceptions. So these are one, two, three, four, five. These are five different tropes and books that have them that I love. And the trope itself worked really well for me and was not a negative in the in my enjoyment of the book. It it worked well. So yeah. I definitely had a lot more of these than I thought I would. I had to cut myself off. So maybe Maybe I'll do another round. <laughs> First one is brother's best friend or best friend's brother. I don't really care about this either way. I have a couple for each. So the first one is best friend's brother is Rock Chick by Kristen Ashley. The thing that I don't like about this is that they're like 30 years old and they could have been together for like the last 10 years if they had communicated. <laughs> However, I do like older main characters, so like that in itself doesn't bother me. It's just the literally one conversation you could have been together years ago. But it works so well because he's just like, all right, I'm done waiting. This, you have gotten yourself in a mess and now you're mine. And <laughs> it sets off romantic suspense. I will tell you that later in the series, a main character does get raped in the book so be aware of that if you're going to read the series because for me it came out of nowhere but the series overall is romantic suspense it might have been Kristen Ashley's first series I'm not 100% sure I know it was early on um, and I did read it all <laughs> then I have Stuffed a Thanksgiving Romance by Jessica Godziella this is her brother's best friend and it is so cute. I This is like one of my all time favorite brother's best friend because I just loved everything about their dynamic. I love them so much. <laughs> she comes home for Thanksgiving and they're just so freaking cute. I just loved them. Like I've read this a couple of times. I'm a big fan of this one. If you want Thanksgiving romance, it's just the best. <laughs> Then I have another brother's best friend and that is Twisted Love by Anna Wong. This does have a third act breakup that I think is dumb as the box rocks, <laughs> but it has nothing to do with the brother. So the brother is leaving for like a year and so he asks his best friend to watch over his sister and the best friend takes that very literally and like moves in next door to her and all the things and Alpha I hate everyone but you grumpy it was it was really good it was really good the only thing I didn't like about this book was the third act breakup then I have Hollow's Grove by Lee Jacquet this is a Halloween romance that I just read and it is best friend's brother and he is a pleasure dom and has always had a thing for her but they met as teenagers and there's like a three or four year age gap between them so he was like 17 and she was 14 so it wasn't appropriate so he you know didn't allow himself to feel any of the things and then when she was like 17 she got in a long-term relationship and has been in a relationship her entire adult life so for him he's always had a thing for her but she was too young respect it yes um too young and then she was in a committed relationship so again it's been quite a bit of time but there were reasons why they've never been together and it's so good <laughs> it's like a murder mystery halloween party and he's just like oh i'm i'm seizing this moment this opportunity i am never ever ever going to miss another chance with you and it was so good so steamy so good then I have friends to lovers y'all know I don't care <laughs> but I have some exceptions and I have the messenger which is professionals number three by Jessica Godziella this is another one where she's in a committed relationship and he's just her friend right but she's going to get married and then she doesn't want to and he helps her leave the wedding and helps her with everything and they're so cute together I love them <laughs> 
This is romantic suspense. They both work in the professional series. She d runs the office and makes everything work. And it's so good. <laughs> and they have fans only by B Love. These are friends who decide to make money by starring in OnlyFans or fans only uh, for copyright reasons and are not into each other. Or at least she's not into him. Or at least she doesn't think she is. And he treats her so well. If you want to read a hero who spoils the main character it was so good and of course you get you know steamy scenes before they are ready to go there for the relationship because they are filming together then i had the duke who didn't by courtney milan there is no third act breakup in this you have a duke who is madly in love with her and knows that she won't believe him and so he tries to get her to give him a list of all the things he needs in a wife and they're at a festival and he has been worried about bringing her into the nobility because he is half Chinese and deals with a lot of racism and she is also Chinese and you know he doesn't want her to have to deal with it but ultimately he also doesn't want him live without her so so cute it's so cute they're like childhood friends to lovers she's very type a he's very easygoing i loved it then i have the third act breakup so these are books that had a third act breakup but the breakup didn't feel completely pointless i was like oh my poor babies but also i understand what you're doing right now so yeah these are ones that didn't really bother me First one is If She Says Yes by Tasha L. Harrison. This is the age gap with her son's best friend. He's in his 30s and she's in her 50s. And he's had the thing for her since he met her in college, but she was married. She never gave any indication that any of it was okay. All that is talked about clearly on page. And they are together during her son's wedding and then he goes home, you know, and they don't follow up with each other or anything. And they don't think that they can be together because of her son, mainly. And none of that is on page. The altercation with her son, I think you do see it in the second book that she wrote because people were like, we want to know. But this first book that was originally written as a standalone, you never see the son find out. But they do break up. And by breakup, I mean they're not together and they're sad that they're not together. And then, you know, you see her going to get him. So I really liked it. I thought it made sense. I did not think it made sense for them to, you know, just dive into a relationship when they had so many personal conflicts with it. So I thought it made sense. And this book is so steamy. <laughs> and I have Fall by Claire Kent. This is a caveman romance. So there's like this dictatorship in space and one of the ways that they get rid of prisoners is to planet dump them and she gets planet dumped on this planet where there's cavemen and she ends up you know living with them and she mates one of them and they have some communication issues but there's another younger guy who was also planet dumped and has been there for three years and he's able to help her with some communication things because he speaks her language and also has been learning the cave people's language for three years and also their society and what is expected of you and things like that. So he's really helpful, but she ends up meeting one of the cavemen and then gets rescued and leaves. Without saying anything to him, and it was so like, oh, you poor baby, you poor baby. And then she comes back with a shuttle and supplies and stuff and that plays out in a later book but I was just like I can understand I can understand not j just being like no love is enough to live in a cave society you want to be really sure about that and maybe have an exit plan <laughs> Then I have A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Vane. This is fantasy romance and heavy on fantasy. This is the perfect, the perfect combination of a high fantasy world and a steamy romance. And she, they are enemies to lovers because he thinks that she helped kill his parents and she's like, no. And he's like, I don't believe you. And they had this whole thing about their society where 
cat like being a liar is the worst thing that you can be and you have no honor and everything so he does this thing where she's not allowed to tell him again or he's gonna rip out her tongue and he will rip out her tongue and so they have a lot of communication issues because he is a big alpha don't lie to me I swore an oath uh not listening person <laughs> eventually she's just like I am over it I am over it and things happen and you got some content warnings in here uh death of a horse miscarriage rape is talked about a lot even though it doesn't occur to the main character and it doesn't necessarily occur on page but definitely definitely some heavier heavier content warnings but so worth it like the perfect dark fantasy romance um and their third eye breakup man I was in it I was in it I was like oh what are you doing <laughs> no why is this happening but also it made sense for the story I can't even be like it was pointless it wasn't pointless it made sense but oh man the feels they were there <laughs> and I have cinnamon roll you all know I love an alpha hero these are ones that are not alpha heroes they're very sweet they're very mild-mannered they're go with the flow but I love them <laughs> First one is Green Eyed Monster by Elsie Winters. You have an orc who is naturally possessive and jealous, but also he's in university and is so sweet. It works really hard not to be jealous, but sometimes he is jealous. I'm just like, oh yeah, I see you. Um, he's so sweet. They both like each other and can't quite tell if the other person likes them back. <laughs> and it's so cute and then i have the enforcer by katrina jackson he is a mafia enforcer and beats people for a living but is submissive and sweet and just wants to be told what to do and doesn't want to have to figure out what you want him to do and it's so cute <laughs> i love them and i have cups of you by carmen lee you have a coffee shop owner and he again is just really sweet and she's very prickly and he's just like hey I brought you coffee <laughs> it was really cute slow burn and yet worked really well for me then lastly I have second chance and yeah not a huge fan but I I, I loved these ones <laughs> First one is Love and Other Nightmares by Jessica Gaziella. This is a novella between two humans in the time of zombies. So zombies have taken over the world and they are trying to survive, right? And they, David, <laughs> before the zombie apocalypse. And now they're the only ones that they've seen that are alive. Things happen. And the Tyrant Alpha's Rejected Mate by Kate C. Wells. I am not a fan of Rejected Mates, but he rejects her in front of everyone and she is in agony and the witch is like, hey, I'll take your side of the main bond out. You won't feel anything. She doesn't take his side out and he was not rejecting her maliciously or on purpose. He was just like, if you were my mate, I would know and you're not. And why are you doing this? But also now my wolf won't let me leave you. So what is happening? And it's so, it's so good. I love them. <laughs> and then I have the time in between. This is Magdalene number three by Kristen Ashley. This one, it's been like 20 years or something. And oh man, they have feelings and he believes a lot of things that maybe he shouldn't and is emotional. And I was like, oh, oh. What did you guys were just talking about? She moves back. He's so angry that she's back and they have to figure their stuff out. <laughs> Lastly, I have Erin's Patience by Tiffany Patterson. This is a, not mafia, but he's like a billionaire, I want to say. And it's dark and there's some BDSM in here. And she had his twins that he doesn't know about. And there's a lot of untold things about their breakup. And so they're both mad at each other. And he blackmails her and is like, you're going to marry me or I'm going to take custody of my children. And he will be able to win, right? Money. <laughs> and so she marries him to keep her kids. 
not to be with him. It was very alpha, jealous, possessive. So good. It was so good. All these things that I would be like, no, I'm not into that. I was very into it. <laughs> I was very into it. I had an amazing time. There's some suspense elements. I will definitely be interested in picking up more by this author. So uh, yeah, there you go. Did all this need to be one video? Probably not, but like and subscribe for part two. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye.